guys, Britt Treese here from WB Treese Consultants. I'm about to take you through a quick snippet of Commercial Code Check. Let's get to code it. Code Check, page 3B through 4A. 3B begins with occupancy, classifications, and separations. Under occupancy classifications, all structures and separate portions must be classified as assembly, business, educational, factory, institutional, mercantile, residential, storage, or utility. There is a table for that, table four. Some of those have sub-classifications. If a building has a mixed use, each occupancy must be classified individually. There is an exception for live work units. They're not considered separate use if the following four things are true. Each unit must be less than or equal to 3,000 square foot total. The non-residential area must be less than or equal to 50% of the total area. The non-residential area is limited to the unit's first or main floor and the non-residential workers simultaneously occupying the non-residential area is less than or equal to five. For accessory occupancies, accessory buildings must be classified separately. Separation, however, is not required between main and accessory buildings if it's less than or equal to 10% of the area of each story of the main type or classification. The exception is sprinklers and rated separations. That's in Table 508.2.5 of IBC 2009. There is an update for 2021 that's not in the uh, code check commercial yet. The other exception is sleeping and dwelling units classified as I1, R1, R2, and R3. The final section for this page is occupancy separations. If the occupancy types are not separated, we must apply the most restrictive classification. Mixed use separations must be vertical or horizontal fire rated barriers. These are also called firewalls and horizontal assemblies are, are floors and ceilings that are fire rated. For, sleep for sleeping and dwelling units and for mixed occupancies in the same building, vertical and or horizontal fire barriers are required. Thanks.